our own limits and showing our kids that anything is possible. Hard work works. Happy to be here. 43-year-old mountain climber Jennifer Drummond is standing on top of the world. <laughs> and scaling summits has taken her life to new heights. The business owner and mom of seven first got a taste for hiking in 2015 when she moved her family to Park City, Utah. Five years later, after surviving a serious car accident, Jen found a new lease on life. All of a sudden I realized we have this limited time here on Earth. I wanted to climb a mountain for my 40th birthday that was coming up. With the help of her coaches and mentors, she began training, exercising whenever she could between work and the children's schedules. And she even set a goal for herself to become the first woman to climb the seven second summits. So tell me about the seven second summits. What exactly is that? The seven second summits are the second highest point on each continent. Harder than the first seven, steeper, less traveled, less commercial assistance, and a little bit more remote locations. Over the next few years, Jen traveled the world, seeing her dream through until she faced a challenge in Indonesia. Jen said she couldn't climb Mount Sumantri due to the area's political conflict. Instead, choosing to climb Mount Townsend in Australia. There is a lot of snow, there's a lot of wind. Not necessarily in our favor, but we pushed through. It was a lot harder than expected to get up here today, primarily due to altitude, I'm guessing. And I ducked and a rock hit my helmet and my shoulder. There's different cues from the environment that you have to take and then you decide how close you want to flirt with that line. We made it to K2 Summit. It's a lot of work. Were you ever scared? Yes, yes, of course I'm scared. All the time. There's spots where you say, you want me to go from here to there? I don't have wings. Like I have to use my feet to get from here to there. If I'm super scared, I'll channel one of my children. They don't have fear for some reason. The mom and mountaineer channeling and thinking of her family every step of the way. We'd make little gummy bear snacks for me to take with. The red gummy bears, anytime I ate one of those, that means I was getting love from my family. The white book gummy bears were courage. Jen completed her most recent venture in June, tackling Canada's Mount Logan. We're moving up the mountain and you just feel humbled by the power of life in the fact that it wasn't me that summited, it was all of us that summited. Every single person that was cheering me on from wherever they were in the world, and just knowing that I am signifying what's capable and what's possible for all of us. Back at home, Jen uses her climbing experience to help others move their own mountains. How do you get your kids to kind of get over the hurdles that they're going through? We have the term in our house, what's your Everest? And so when my kids are going through a really hard time, they'll be like, Mom, I have an Everest right now. I'm like, okay, so let's break it down because you climb a mountain one step at a time. You like it. it might not be big to me, but what they're using that term, that means it's the biggest thing going on in their life. You are living proof of, of grit and what can be done. So what advice do you have for people? The best way to have grit is to have an unbelievable team to share and communicate what you're going through, what you're doing, what you desire, because that cues the people around you how to support you. The more that you can be true to yourself and communicate that truth, the more the universe can provide the people that you need to make the thing happen. She's really impressive, but there is some debate in the mountain climbing community about which mountains are actually the seven second summits. So we mentioned there's one mountain Jen couldn't climb. That was Mount Sumantri. And she says she does plan to climb it as soon as it is safe to do so. In the meantime, Jen is planning on taking two of her kids with her to the top of Africa's Mount Kenya again. And she will also have a book coming out next year. It's called Quit Proof, sharing her lessons throughout her journey. I don't care which are the second summits, whatever. I mean, the fact that she's done that is and, amazing. And she's climbed Mount Everest and, you know, every other mountain she can get her hands on. And doing this with her seven kids, just supporting her mm -hmm. and rallying her, she said she would be at, at soccer games with, like, a step, like, you know, those step aerobic things. Right. And she'd be, like, getting her exercise and her training in while she was there for her kids. So it, she was very, very impressive. Now I feel like a slacker. <laughs> Not you. You can't feel like she's a slacker amazing. either. I do. That's incredible. <laughs> and you are no slacker. Coming up next, time for a little... Hello, Tom. Ooh, it's got awkward.